Russians losing thousands of vehicles attack positions of Ukrainian army with motorcycles. Russia lost thousands of military vehicles in the first two years of the war with Ukraine and the production of new equipment as well as the restoration of old vehicles from long-term storage does not make up for the losses. That's why in the third year of a large-scale war, more and more Russian soldiers are going into battle in trucks, open golf carts and, more recently, motorcycles, Forbes writes. According to the publication, a fast, maneuverable and inexpensive motorcycle is an effective way to move around the battlefield for a courier or scout. The problem for Russian troops in 2024 is that, lacking dedicated armoured vehicles as well as larger civilian vehicles, they are riding their unprotected motorcycles straight into Ukrainian positions, just as they started doing a few months ago with their Desert Cross 1000 all-terrain vehicles, and as a result, get hit in the teeth, the publication writes. Thus, on April the 15th, the 92nd Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Army repelled an attack by Russian motorcycle troops near Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine. Three weeks later, around May the 7th, the Ukrainian 79th Air Assault Brigade destroyed eight motorcycles during the assault on Novomikhailovka, also in the east of the country. However, despite the losses, at least one Russian unit still uses motorcycles as assault equipment. The Zarya Battalion of the Russian Army's 123rd Motorized Rifle Brigade says motorcycles are faster and harder to detect than heavier, slower armored vehicles. At the same time, the Russians are improving their military motorcycles in the same way they improved their turtle tanks. Thus, writes Forbes, in order to reduce the threat from Ukrainian high-speed drones, which have been seen more than once in pursuit of Russian motorcyclists, some Russian units covered their motorcycles with a metal mesh. However, this does not stop the Ukrainian armed forces as confirmed by videos of the destruction of Russian motorcyclists published online. It was previously reported that the Russian occupation forces began using Chinese Desert Cross 1003 all-terrain vehicles on the front line. In addition, the military reported that the occupiers were actively transporting personnel on two-wheeled motorcycles to the front line. Turkey's fifth-generation KAAN fighter has successfully completed its second test flight. The technical details of the tests have not yet been announced. The flight has not been officially confirmed yet. Since the first flight on February 21, engineers have been integrating new systems to improve the fighter's software, flight, and combat characteristics, TGRT TV channel said. It should be noted that on February 21, the KAN fighter jet of the Turkish Air Force, which took off from the murdered airbase in Ankara, stayed in the air for 13 minutes. The speed was more than 420 km per hour and the flight height was 2.4 km the Turkish aerospace industry considers the assembly of this second prototype as a pivotal milestone in the aircraft's ongoing evolution. The impending comprehensive flight tests will not only ask questions but will also provide vital responses. In any such project, the development and testing of a second prototype is always marked as a crucial turning point. In the first stage of the Khan's airborne trials, the team will meticulously assess the aircraft's flightworthiness. This involves judgments on the aircraft's maneuverability, stability, and control across various altitudes and speeds, ensuring its performance aligns with expectations. Analysts project that the TAIKAN will host an array of weapons, a mix of air-to-air, -air, air-to-surface, and anti-ship missiles. Additionally, there is the possibility that developers might include an internal gun.
Ediyor da lokus sesleri.